What's up guys? This is Manoj Vapani. I welcome you all on behalf of the Adupedia world. This is the last video presentation in which I'm going to discuss the remaining topics with respect to audit under CIS environment. I do believe and I do need to reiterate you that you guys must revise because that is something which is extremely crucial for you all. So by now, I do believe that you guys must have given up a thorough revision of the topics that have already been covered by us. All you need to do is just remember that this is the last video presentation and the remaining topics that I'll be covering today, just go through the same today itself once you watch out this video in order to ensure that the same remains into your mind accordingly so that you can utilize this time while you will be studying and preparing for ISCA subject as well because that's going to help you up over there too for sure perfect guys fasten up your seatbelts we are about to take off the first topic of the day and that will be audit softwares so guys in my last video presentation i concluded my presentation with a topic relating to the use of cats by cats i simply mean computer assisted audit techniques how the kind of techniques which are basically being provided to all of us with the help of computer with the help of technology how are we actually taking help from them in order to ensure that we are able to complete our audit in a best of the manner and how is it being useful to us what is their uh, importance we have already discussed this thing in my last presentation so i'll be continuing that particular topic with the audit softwares as well so now coming to the audit softwares what you can use if i'll talk about cats what all are the different type of audit softwares that are usually being used while you'll be like auditing any of a client okay number one is the package programs number two is the purpose written programs number three is the utility programs and number four is the system management programs guys just raise your hand how many of you have actually gone and worked on the software is like tele or maybe busy absolutely most of us like almost 90 percent of the people around must have used tele or busy in their some part of their life even if the person is working with, with one of the big four still they have come across such a situation wherein the client would be having the software's package programs like tele or busy exactly that's my point tele and busy are basically the package kind of programs these are basically those generalized kind of computer programs which are designed to perform the data processing functions such as reading data recording the journal entries selecting them analyzing that information and tele itself performs all the calculations over there it creates those data files and finally you get the reporting in the format which is being specified by you as an auditor okay if you want the horizontal type you can get the report in that segment if you want the vertical report you can get that as well tele is and tele and busy busy and tele are those two kind of examples if i need to tell you so these are the ones which fall under the category of package programs. Okay, now coming to the second one, that is the purpose written programs. So guys, by purpose written program, I simply mean that most of the big force are having their own softwares. Okay, you as an auditor, you need to document your working in a particular software in order to ensure that someday, if in case you just check out and you want to wish to go back to like what has been the kind of documentation that you have maintained for a particular kind of client. Okay, so all the big fours are usually having their own purpose written programs. Okay, they get it developed by incurring a huge amount of cost. Okay, so these purpose written programs are basically the ones which are going to help you up in performing all those audit tasks in some specific circumstances. These are the programs that may be developed by the auditor. Big fours usually develop these softwares by them as well. Plus, they can take the assistance from the companies like SAP, Oracle, or any other company which are going to help them up in specifically customizing that program according to their own needs. The kind of entity which is going to be like audited, they can accordingly adjust their programs with that with a customized one according to their own needs. So most of the big fours are, in fact, all the big fours are having their own purpose written programs so that they can provide the consultancy services to the client with ease and perfect kind of access all the time. I have to like usually come across such kind of situation where in some of the cases you as an auditor may use an entity's existing programs in their original or a modified state as well. But it's always recommended for all the companies to use and basically strive by their own programs so that you can have a hands-on experience on that guys. 
So because it's it may be like more efficient than developing those independent kind of programs if in case you want to and wish to go for you can directly access those purpose written programs which are being used in your own company. Next comes the utility programs. Okay. So what does utility program basically actually mean? Okay. I can simply give you an example for a normal calculator. Okay. Now you'll be thinking, sir, how can that be included under the utility program by utility program guys? I simply mean that it's a kind of instrument. Okay. It's a kind of program which can be used by any of the entity. Okay. To perform some common data processing functions. Excel Microsoft Excel is one such utility program. Okay. Calculator is one. It is supposed to provide you the calculations. Its main task is that. Okay. You don't get uh, to audit the complete working with that calculator, right? You don't get that. Okay. The only thing that you get is you get an assistance while you are auditing a particular client. If you are having the calculator by your side, definitely it's going to help you up in accessing the information in a better way. If in case then the one when you will not be having the same. So that is why this will be categorized under the category of utility program. In fact, Microsoft Excel is also the one you can sort the data in that you can use up the functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, pivot table, creating and printing the files. All these things can be done. The only thing which I am going to tell you is these programs are generally not designed for the audit purposes. Is it somewhere written in the world that only the ones who will be like auditing? They are the ones who are allowed to use Microsoft Excel. No, it's not written anywhere. OK, so these basically are the programs which are generally made in order to help out the people with their utility function and they are not made specifically or designed for the audit purposes and therefore it may not contain some of the features such like the ones which are specifically made only to ensure that you do your audit perfectly. So you can use all those utility programs be it calculator be it Microsoft Excel all these ones. Finally, the system management programs. OK, so guys, system management programs are the ones which are basically going to provide you the enhanced kind of productivity tools which are going to help you typically being a part of a sophisticated operating systems environment. For example, uh, there is a software which is available in the market and with which you guys can uh, retrieve your data automatically. OK, so that data retrieval software if you'll get that. OK, and uh, let's suppose there is another software and you have made a particular coding for a particular uh, system. Now you get a software which with which you can compare the coding which has been done by you and which should have been the coding. So that code comparison software or I should say that data retrieval software. These are the more advanced form of software. Okay, so these are basically called the system management programs. Okay, they are going to enhance your productivity with respect to that sophisticated operating systems environment and as with the utility programs, these tools are not specifically designed for auditing again. So they can be used for any other purposes as well, but they need to be used accordingly with the additional kind of care. These are the real high tech programs. So you can use these four major audit softwares anywhere down the line while you're auditing any of your particular client, be it your package programs like TeleBusy, be it your purpose written programs which are being specifically made by the softwares like Big Force and other bigger giants, utility programs such as like Microsoft Excel or any other data retrieval software or code comparison ones. Example for say for system management programs. I hope you guys got the complete clarity with respect to what all softwares are being used. Now coming to the second point. Okay, that second important discussion that I need to make with you guys. So it's about the consideration and the use of cats. We all know that cats are really important in these days. We can't go for manual testing at all. We can't afford to go for that. Okay, why they are important? You'll get to know here itself. Okay, and what all consideration you need to have if in case you are going for the use of computer assisted audit techniques. So what all things you need to take care in your mind once you are doing that. So guys number one consideration will be IT knowledge expertise and experience of audit team guys. We all are aware of this thing that auditing is a teamwork. Okay, you can't do audit on your own. Number one. Number two in order to do that audit particularly in the best of your manner. Okay, in order to ensure that you don't leave any stone unturned while you go for your auditing you need to have and you need to be abreast with each kind of IT knowledge which is going on in the market. Okay, some amendment is there, some updation is there. You need to upgrade yourself each day accordingly. And you need to have a particular kind of expertise and experience while you are working with n number of clients over there. 
Okay, number one thing that you need to consider while you will be using the cats is you need to have the knowledge about cats. If you are using some particular kind of audit software, by audit software, I simply mean that you are applying some computer audit uh, assisted audit techniques somewhere down the line. So you need to have that IT knowledge. Number one, that's the number one thing, because that's something which is going to provide you the guidance as to when uh, you should as an auditor, you need to, let's say, delegate your work to your assistants and what all skills do you need to have while you're performing your particular audit with that help of that software. You can have additionally that you being the senior of that audit team, you should have that sufficient knowledge so that you can plan, you can execute and you can use the results of the particular CAT which you have adopted. And the kind of knowledge that is required, you need to have that knowledge. That is number one. Accordingly, you'll be able to do that performance. That is number one consideration while you are using your CATs. Number two is the availability of CATs. Let's suppose you have gone for a small kind of client. Okay, you have got your particular software. Okay, you have your audit program with you. The only problem is the kind of computers that are available in your client's place. These are actually not the very much advanced one or these are not the one which are technically uh, technologically upgraded. OK, so let's suppose you are in a fix. Now you want to apply the cats which are available with you as a software, maybe in your phone and your USB. The only problem is you can't access that. Why? Because the client's computer won't help you up with that support. Now you need to be aware of this fact that in order to consider use of CAD, basically you need to have that availability of the cats accordingly and you need to have that suitable computer facilities in your place. So that is why the only probable reason why big force and major entities, major big CA firms, they usually provide laptops to their employees. That's the only reason why, because someday, if in case you don't get the access on time, so you don't need to waste your time uh, moving from one place to another like a vagabond just to ensure that you get a particular desktop from the client. No, you can use your additional facilities like your own PC or laptops accordingly. You can apply the cats with those computer facilities, so you need to have this consideration number two that you need to have got the availability of all those cats and those computers suitable facilities accordingly you'll be able to consider the uh, use of having cats in your audit purposes number three let's suppose it's about the impracticability of the manual tests you went for a particular audit okay and you just got to know that the kind of documents that are available over there are huge okay you need to make n number of calculations now comes the use of cat into the picture. Will you be able to do that particular task completely solely on your manual reasonableness? Absolutely not. That's impractical. That's impractical at complete totality. That's just not feasible for you guys. That's just not reasonable. So if in case it's just not feasible, it's just not reasonable to put in the entire audit solely on the grounds of going forward with the manual test. It's always recommended that you can consider using the cats accordingly since it's impracticable to go for the manual tests. There are huge volume of data. There are advanced statistical analysis which are being involved and they involve huge amount of time as well. So accordingly, technically, you can't afford to go for manual test and many computer information system basically performs all those tasks for which no hard copy evidence is basically available. So it's again, it's going to be impractical for the auditor to perform those tasks manually. This lack of hard copy evidence may occur at different stages of the business cycle. So accordingly, you need to keep yourself intact while you are using the cats. Second uh, last one would be the effectiveness and the efficiency. Effectiveness and efficiency will go by the number th third point that I just made you understand. Okay. In order to ensure that you guys are effective and efficient with your work, you don't waste your time on the manual test. Accordingly, you'll be considering the use of cats so that you will be able to perform your task efficiently, that is on time and effectively within that complete stipulated period. And lastly, with the time constraint. Again, we all are no, uh, we all are aware of this fact that auditing is basically it's having an inherent limitation, and which is the time constraint. So we don't get much of the time. There is a particular thing which has been done for the entire amount of year, complete year. We just need to audit that particular stuff in a period of, let's say, one month or maybe 40 days or 45 days down the line. So we are always short of time. We as auditors are always short of time and there are always time constraints. So accordingly, technically, it's always feasible to go for such kind of option wherein you don't leave any stone unturned while you are doing and performing your audit. Again, this is time constraint is basically the one factor which is 
going to ensure that you do consider having the use of cats in your audit environment. IT knowledge, availability of cats, impracticability of manual tests, efficiency and effectiveness, and time constraints. All these things need to be considered while you are using the cats. I hope you guys got the complete clarity with respect to audit softwares and consideration in the use of cats as well. With this, I'll say thank you on behalf of the Edupedia world. Well, keep interacting via questions, queries, uh, with the YouTube comment boxes. I would love to answer each one of your queries and your answers, believe me. If in case you have liked our video, do give us a thumbs up. That's gonna act as a motivational booster for we people as well. Stay connected, guys. That will help us in understanding your needs way, way, way better, guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye.